Well, buongiorno, benvenuti. Uh, welcome to the world's tiniest apartment in Milan, where I'm just preparing in the next few minutes to uh, to go out the door, say goodbye to this lovely place, and to uh, to head off to my uh, my next adventure, which is an airplane ride. Actually, three airplane rides, if everything works out like it's supposed to. Um, yesterday, I had to uh, go get a uh, what's called a tampone here. A tampone is a uh, you know a thing up your nose where they test for COVID. It was thankfully negative, and so I'm hopefully all my documents are in order. We'll see. I had a little kerfuffle with my passports uh, in Arezzo uh, last month, and you know, hopefully it was all straightened out. We'll see. Well, when I get to the airport, we'll see if they if they, if they have problems with my papers. I hope not. But uh, I wanted to say something about Milan. Um, I came to Milan with relatively low expectations. Um, I think you know, Milan, I thought, was a big city. It was going to be a, a cold, impersonal place. It was going to be a, a difficult place, but uh, and it was going to be a, you know, a expensive place. And all those things, uh, for me, were proven wrong. I, uh, I've had a uh, fantastic time here, and uh, I actually had the best food of this trip, which is um, interesting because it wasn't Italian food exactly. <laughs> Uh, I've had two meals, three meals in uh, Milan. Uh, well, I, I met a friend for uh, for beer and uh, some snacks last night, and that was nice. But uh, I did uh, on the way home. I did stop and have uh, a little bit more because I wanted to have one more meal before I left. Um, and the uh, the meal I had uh, last night was spectacular. It was dim sum. <laughs> it was. I went to a dim sum restaurant in Milan, and uh, I was. You know, I was attracted because their proposition was that they made uh, Chinese-style dim sum dumplings, but with Italian ingredients. And it, Italy is a place where food traditions are are really important. You know, one city's uh, one city's ragu and is different from you know a city you know uh, a half hour away. Uh, one province's uh, gnocchi is different from the gnocchi in another. Another province. It, it, it's, it, things are different here. Pasta types, you know, vary from region to region, and so on. But, um, but for sure, this was unusual food for Italy in a place where people are very strict about their uh, their food policies. And uh, it was very delicious. I was so surprised. Um, and it was they had an extensive menu. Uh, maybe if I can figure out how to do it uh, by uh, doing the video editing on my phone, I'll I'll stick a picture of their menu in there. But uh, they uh, they had um, uh, kind of some interesting dim sum uh, varieties, and I had uh, three sets. Um, I had a, a set of, uh, of dim sum that were in a, a black wrapper uh, colored with squid ink uh, that was uh, codfish and potatoes and olives that was quite tasty. And then there were these little um, delicate dumplings that were uh, filled with the flavor of Milan. So uh, saffron, which is popular here, lemon zest, really, really delicious, uh, really, really delicious uh, little dumplings. And then finally, my, I ended that little set with uh, a set of, um, of dumplings that were filled with nunja, the uh, spreadable spicy um, sausage from the, uh, the region of Calabria, where some of my family comes from. And uh, they were all really, really good. And it's really surprising because... Uh, you know, I I just didn't expect uh, to find something that was so delicious here. And as you travel around the city, there's a lot of um, foreign influence in food. There's actually a Starbucks somewhere near here, but a big Starbucks and a fancy one. And I, I didn't really go out of my way to find it. I just saw it on the map and I was surprised, but it's here. Uh, I actually found a coffee bar or a bar where I took my coffee the last couple of mornings and uh, it was uh, it was really really good, and I thought Milan was going to be a really expensive city. It turns out, not so much. You know, uh, my normal brioche and cappuccino in the morning in the little place in Tuscany I was, which was very good, um, and nice people and so on. Uh, that was um, I think two euros sixty cents or something like that. Um, the brioche that I had this morning and yesterday morning they were the best brioche I've had in Italy. They were so light and so flaky and so flavorful uh, that with the cappuccino they were two euros thirty so 
you know, even cheaper here in the big city. What a big surprise. Uh, I didn't do much, um, much uh, touring here. I did some walking because I always like to walk where I am and uh, it took, uh, took a couple of nice walks, uh, you know, more than a couple, I guess, and saw a little bit of the city and wandered through one of the fancier neighborhoods and stuff like that. But in general, Milan is a great city. Uh, I was so surprised. I actually had, to, had an opportunity to go out with a friend for a beer last night and uh, catch up with an old friend, and that was very nice. But uh, uh, I went on public transit. Public transit here is awesome. There's uh, a great subway system. There's a great streetcar system. In fact, my very first experience with Milan uh, was in San Francisco, <laughs> where I took, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of streetcars, and there's a, a historic streetcar line in San Francisco called the F Market Line. And I was reminded the other day, because some friends of mine have been out there visiting, and posted a picture of a streetcar from Milan, um, which I've actually ridden on because I, I like the Hith Market line in San Francisco with all those weird uh, streetcars from around the world. So my first experience with Milan was a, a streetcar in San Francisco 15 years ago or so, something like that. Well, that's a lot of rambling. Uh, I'm going to go uh, finish up and uh, close this place up and say goodbye to this, uh, this sweet little uh, tiny, tiny apartment and uh, uh, lug my bags down one floor to where there's an elevator and then lug them to the train station which is about 200 meters away not far and uh, get on to the airport and see if i can make my way back uh, to a family and home well that's it from milan hope that wherever you are you've got a smile on your face the people are being kind to you that you're being kind to people and around you and that um, that you're being as awesome as you can possibly be ciao